a lot of times patients would come to see me uh, wanting to have surgery for their sleep apnea. To me, when I offer, I don't always offer patients to do an operation. In fact, I think I turn away or recommend non-surgical treatment or continue to try the non-surgical non treatment for a majority of the, of the patients that, are, that come in to see me. Um, so when, when I offer surgery, that means that I feel that there is a pretty good chance that I'm going to help this individual. It's, it's, you could pick the definition of pretty good success. But to me, you know, should be 80, 90 percent chance that I'm going to help this individual. One of the big reasons that I do a particular operation majority of time, which is the biggest operation that you can do for surgery for sleep apnea, is because the outcome. I always ask patients after the surgery how they feel. Do they, do they sleep better? How do they feel? And was the operation worth it? Early in my career, I used to do a lot of smaller surgery. The concept was I wanted to do the least invasive operation to try to improve patients. But that's not how sleep apnea works. A lot of times patients come in and one question that I have for them is, can you go on living like this? And overwhelming majority of patients will say no. They can't live like this. They don't want to live like this. So that's a parameter. I don't want to do an operation that will improve them 20%, 30%. When I ask patients how they feel, it always depresses me in the early days when they say, you know, I think I sleep better. That is not a good answer. That is not a good outcome. 20, 30% is not a good outcome for me. I'm looking for 80, 90%. I'm looking for patients, and I expect patients to look at me saying, I sleep great. I feel much better. You've really helped me. That's the, type of, that's the type of answer I'm looking for, and that's the type of answer that I expect when I do an operation.